In this video, we're going to see how to verify if a set with given operations satisfies one of the eight defining vector space properties. So in this particular example I have here, we have been given a set of all pairs of real numbers. And we have a couple operations for uh, addition and scalar multiplication defined for us. And we're going to verify that scalar multiplication distributes over vector addition here. So the basic idea is that we want to compute the left and the right hand sides of this identity and see if we end up with the same thing. So let's start with the left hand side. So we want to compute C, a sum scalar, multiplied by the sum of the two vectors x1, y1 plus x2, y2. So the convention is to follow the usual order of operations here. So that means that we'll operate inside the parentheses first. So we'll do this addition inside first. So I'm just going to write down what we're going to do next. And now we'll go ahead and add x1, y1 to x2, y2. When I say add, I have this funny addition symbol here, which means that we're going to follow this addition operation up here. So when we add x1, y1 to x2, y2, we get 2x1 plus 2x2. And the second spot, we have 2y1 plus 2y2. Now we are going to do the scalar multiplication following the rule for scalar multiplication up here. So the scalar multiplication rule says multiply the first component by c and the second component by c squared. So that's exactly what we'll do. We'll write down a c times the first component. And then we'll write down a c squared times that second component. And now we just have regular old real number multiplication and addition in here. So we can distribute this out as we normally would and write 2cx1 plus 2cx2. And in the second spot, 2c squared y1 plus 2c squared y2. Now we're going to compute the right-hand side of this identity. So we'll write down c times x1 y1 plus c times x2 y2. And once again, we're following our usual convention of the order of operations, which says we do multiplication first. So we'll do both of those scalar multiplications, and then we'll add the resulting vectors together. So to do scalar multiplication, our rule says multiply the first component by c and the second component by c squared. So we get cx1 and c squared y1. For the second one, we'll have cx2 and c squared y2. Now to add these two vectors together, if we look at what our rule says to do, it says take the first components from each of them, multiply them both by 2, and add them together. So our first component, we'll take that cx1, We'll multiply it by 2, and we'll add to that cx2, which is the first component of the second one, multiplied by 2. Now what the rule says for the second spot is basically the same thing, but with the second slots. So we'll take 2 times the second thing in the first one, plus 2 times the second thing in the second one. So 2 times, in this case we have c squared y1 in the second spot of the first one, plus c squared y2 is in the second spot of the second one, and that gets multiplied by 2 and added to the other thing. And now if we look, that is exactly what we got when we computed the left-hand side. So our left-hand side is equal to our right-hand side, which shows that this set with these two operations um, has this identity that scalar multiplication distributes over vector addition.